Hey guys, I'm Josh of IntoOutdoors.com, blogging exclusively for Outdoor Life magazine. The Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources met on May 27th, and advised by the Wisconsin Conservation Congress, made either the dumbest or most prolific ruling ever regarding the regulation of firearms. The problem was that the definitions describing firearms used for hunting were unclear and murky, and this could leave the door open to weapons we haven't even thought of. Well, apparently the Wisconsin DNR is the most advanced civilization ever. Or at least in their minds they are. I say this because somehow they peeked into the future and saw hunters burning holes in deer with electromagnetic weapons. How they actually looked into the future is still a mystery. Maybe they had a time portal, too much alcohol, or one heck of a crystal ball. Whatever they used had to be convincing because they were so sure that hunters would be using electromagnetic weapons that they outlawed them. This new ruling states that only firearms that use gunpowder are allowed for hunting. I know heaven forbid they find a solution for an existing problem. Seriously, we're having a hard enough time switching from gasoline to ethanol or whatever else they want us to pump our cars with these days. So I just don't see us buying guns that shoot lasers anytime soon. Yeah, do you have that new Remington 870 and 50 watts? Yeah, it's the one powered by a solenoid-based electromagnetic accelerator. Man, this thing right here is just pretty. I'd like to put you on a plate and sop you up with a biscuit. Hey, man, come here and look at this flux capacitor on this thing. I bet you could really burn some ducks with this. Yeah, I don't see that scenario playing out too soon in Arkansas. So besides the fact that this ruling makes about as much sense as nailing jello to a wall, why do you think the Wisconsin DNR did this? Was it a bunch of guys who got together and said, Let's make some laws! Or was this policy banning electromagnetic weapons a good idea? Anyway, I want to know what you think. Leave a comment and let me know. And as usual, if you want to hear more about this story, I got the link for you guys in the description. And with all that being said, my name's Josh, and you just got into outdoors. Ah!